dojechały. Głowiki kompensacyjne i transformatory wyprodukowane w fabryce w Turcji są już zainstalowane na terenie stacji elektroenergetycznej Baltic Power. Dostawa transformatorów jest jednym z głównych kamieni milowych całego projektu. Proces ten obarczony był szeregiem ryzyk, który dzięki ścisłej współpracy z instytucjami państwowymi, z urzędami, z lokalną społecznością przebiegł bez żadnych zakłóceń. We as Nova, we are really pleased to form part of this uh, energy transition for Poland. Uh, where we just received four power transformers, one of the biggest to be installed in Poland. Each of them has 400 MVA and also the four shunt reactors, which will help the Baltic power wind farm to make the transmission power to the uh, Polish grid and to secure their uh, stabilization of the grid while transmit those powers. Those power machines, they were tailored for this project. So it's a first of kind of these uh, three winding power transformers in Poland. And uh, each of these power machines uh, has around uh, 350 tons each. So it's a really, really uh, big machine. And uh, you see here is just the body. So of course it will be bigger once assembled. And those uh, uh, power machines were full tested, so sealed first time uh, during the FATs, so we are really, really pleased that uh, we achieved this milestone. Last mile transport started in port of Gdynia, uh, where the trafos were delivered by the heavy lift vessel, and the trafos were reloaded onto the barge. Uh, with the barge, the trafos were transported to port of Władysławowo, where they were discharged using the Roro method. The trafos are very heavy and they are pretty high, so it was much easier to do this transport through Port of Władysław. Each trafo for the transport was 367 tons. Together with the SPMT trailer, it was 443 tons. On our way uh, from Władysław to final site, uh, to Osieki Lemborskie, uh, we needed to pass two bridges, uh, which were not strong enough for the passage of uh, the trafos, so we needed to build our own bridges on, on top of the existing bridges. Przed nami instalacja osprzętu dla transformatorów i głowików kompensacyjnych. Cały proces powinien zakończyć się w przeciągu najbliższych dwóch miesięcy, a oddanie obiektu do eksploatacji planowane jest na początek 2026 roku.